So, hi Ali again. Hello, nice to see you again. Of course, <laughs> oh, it's wonderful to see you again. It's the seventh time. Uh, I think so. Yeah, a month and a half has passed. And, really, a month yeah. and a half. Uh, how you are doing? I'm doing very well. Um, looking forward to after Christmas because um, everything gets a bit hectic around this time. Um, You're starting to repair, uh, prepare for the Christmas from from now? Well, it, in Italy, there's a holiday on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. They have a day off. It's called the Immaculate Conception and they, um, they there's a holiday. And usually around this time, people put their Christmas trees up and things like that. Oh. So I feel a bit obligated. I don't really... <laughs> I'm not really into Christmas, but I feel like I have to do it because everybody else does <laughs> i thought it was early uh, early because uh, we are just in the 5th uh, december yeah well um, in europe everyone goes well maybe in america too i don't know everyone starts getting crazy after halloween and all the christmas stuff goes in the shops father christmas starts appearing everywhere mm. um you know it all becomes like a big consumeristic um holiday the, type the, the black friday Oh, then there's Black Friday, and then the Cyber Monday, and I don't understand any of it, really. <laughs> Me too, actually. Yeah, I oh, no. It's just an excuse to, I don't know, to buy things, I suppose. I just carry on and, you to, know. Uh, to empty the stores, you know. Yeah. Mm. But I don't know, sometimes it feels like, um, have you ever seen the film Groundhog Day? I don't think that. No, it's about this, it's a comedy, and it's about this guy that, goes to um he goes to sleep wakes up in the morning and he has a day a normal day he goes but goes to sleep at the end of the day he wakes up in the morning and it's exactly the same day as the day before yeah 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 uh, i started to yeah. remember yeah yeah but i forget the sleep. movie name yeah. yeah and it's like he's stuck on the uh, same in day. a time loop some something like that the, the same scenario loop. yeah and that's what it life sometimes appears to me sometimes because it seems like you're on a time loop. Um, for example, in the like in the Christian European type um, lifestyle, you have Christmas, then you have Easter, then you have the summer, and then you have Halloween, and then you have Christmas. Lots and of vacations <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and everyone sort of lives for these um, little holidays and. Sometimes to me it seems like being stuck in Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we were going to talk about time today, weren't we? Anyway, yeah, yeah. So this is the today's production. topic. Actually, uh, I started to feel this kind of time loop, but in my day-to-day -day life, because uh. after I starting to work, I I have less uh, free time, so I, I my free time was occupied by all this uh, work so i started mm -hmm. to to be away from the from the now and uh, getting engaged with uh, all this work and stuff you know so my mind um just all the day thinking and working so uh, um i lost the feel of the, the time and uh, yeah. you just woke up and uh, thinking a li little and here we are at the sunset. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's uh, passing very uh, quickly. Or uh, the, the, uh, we start to uh, can't uh, feel it as it uh, pass away. So uh, about the time, uh, what do you think about time traveling? Do uh you Time, really, once you start having out-of-body experiences, you realize that time is really quite flexible and it's not as rigid as we're led to believe here in the physical. In the physical, we have to live this linear time because otherwise life wouldn't kind of make sense. And I think there would be total chaos if you didn't have some sort of linear time in your life. It's part of the setup of the physical. But once you get, obviously, in the astral, time... T totally changes the whole sense of time. Um, you can have an out-of-body experience that in physical time lasts about 10 minutes, 
but in astral time it can last a lifetime you know it seems to go on forever yeah so, uh, so yeah. you believe that time exists um so uh, just you experience it in I believe time exists as in but it exists for us on the earth because that's how we live by but it's um once we go into the inner dimensions it becomes more flexible um so we can travel into the future into the past we can yeah. meet past yeah. selves and things uh, like that what i meant is uh, do you believe that the time is a quality of existence uh, I mean, if there's no humans, uh, will there be ever uh, some kind of time? I don't think so. I'm not an expert and I'm not, I'm certainly not a quantum physicist or anything like that. But if you look at a tree, a tree doesn't even think about time. It just exists. Yeah, it's uh, actually everything except uh, humans. Yeah, it's us that make this time thing. That's also why I can never get into New Year's Eve. And celebrate New Year's Eve because it's just a man-made um, day. Because who said that New Year's Eve was the last day of the year? Who said that? Because the Chinese think it's a different day. So yeah, yeah. to me, it, it all comes one. It all comes a bit. Um, it gets a bit more complicated once you start leaving physical time into the astral and beyond. Um, yeah. um, that reminds me of, um, for example, the money. Who, mm -hmm. gave, who gave the, the who gave the money its uh, value? Just a, it's just a piece of paper, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> it's humans uh, actually uh, can create uh, a reality and just live in it. And this reality is just exists because many people believes uh, believe that this reality exists, even if if it's an illusion. Yeah. So. It's like a this. It, there are many people call that a consensus reality, don't they? Yeah. It's like something yeah, yeah. we all agree on. Yeah, we all agree on it, so that's how it is. And yeah, so uh, for me, actually, I I have my doubts about the existence of time. Yeah. Uh, I think if I am an atom, uh, it will uh, it will never be. Uh, matter uh, I even can't uh, recognize the movements I can't recognize the meaning of these movements because uh, in a large scale you may see a cat moving from point A to B but if you are so small in the scale of atoms you will see just uh, a flow of atoms from there to there and here and there so you you, you can't even um, have a sense of reality as the human uh, perceive it. So I think it's just a quality of the human mind. Yeah. And when we uh, enter the uh, the dreams, especially the multi levels dream, in in the deepest point, the time just uh, just freeze, it just uh, uh, cease to exist. And sometimes, actually, in the astral projection, you you talk uh, you talked about the the slow motion of the time in mm -hmm. the astral dimension. So, if the time is really exist, why just uh, sometimes become uh, slow, sometimes become fast? So I think it's a psychological uh, thing. Uh, it just uh, how the human expect that the existence should be. Yes, it's how so, we perceive time, isn't it? Yeah, it. It, it is just a biolog biological and mm -hmm. psychological thing. It just For, for me, as I, I, I see it. But uh, physicists uh, may disagree with me, <laughs> <laughs> especially the classical uh, physics. They, they need time uh, to describe all this uh, you know equations they have letter t for all this I've always, I've always been fascinated by time ever since i was young i i used to love well i still do actually doctor who you know the time lord do you watch uh, doctor who actually no. <laughs> no no you should watch doctor who do you know have you heard about doctor who have you heard about the tv show yeah the uh, that scientist who uh, just uh simplify the science for kids it's um well no it's it's actually the longest running um science fiction um program um 
I'm it's, sorry to see it. I can't believe you've never seen it. Um, and I used to watch, well, I've watched it since I was a child, and it fascinated me how he could go forward and backwards in time. Um, and he would often get stuck in these time loops. And um, oh. totally fascinating. Well, it's really difficult sometimes to get your head around it. Um, because as human beings, we sort of rely yeah, on this yeah. existence of time. Mm. Uh, and it's like the the latest episode, he had he was stuck in this sort of prison and he had to get out. And he was stuck in a time loop that went on and on for like thousands of years. He was stuck in this time loop. Oh, really yeah. quite fascinating. You, <laughs> maybe I should send you some episodes. And, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I can't say anything else about that. I won't say anything else because if I do send you the episodes, it will spoil it for you. But um, it really is quite fascinating. Um, also, because in out of body experiences, you can travel back in time and you can meet past selves. Now, you can ask yourself, do I influence that life? This as is a the future question. Self? Yes. So um, I believe you can influence because then there's different timelines. So you might go back to one timeline and influence that life and maybe improve that life and then he just he or she just experiences maybe a different um possible reality because we always have different possible realities depending um, on so we make. if i'm uh, well, uh if i were lucky and really improve that person life uh, person life so how could this uh, affect my own life my own timeline. Well, I think we all carry issues from past lives, and I think some some may lie dormant and only come forth when we're ready to deal with them. Um, and I think that's why some people are more prone to particular illnesses because they carry weakness in that particular area due to some sort of issue that maybe they've developed even in this life, but it also could be something they've de developed in a past life. I mean, I. Um, Last year, I ended up with um, a really bad pain in my shoulder. It was calcified tendonitis. But, but why? Why and why yeah. my right shoulder? You know. Um, yeah. It, I don't just believe that we just get things um, for no reason. I believe if we get ill with a certain illness or we have a certain pain in our body, it's re it's to do with something in our energy body that isn't balanced. And many of these imbalances obviously can come from your present life but i believe that also some of them may come from past lives and maybe lie dormant until you're ready to deal with it so i think by maybe going back using the term going back to a past life and if you help to heal that past life then that your energy body will be healed of that particular issue that you may have had in that life um uh, uh uh, I, I I want to ask why it's uh, um, a terrifying idea to to go back in time, or just thinking about uh, pa the past. Uh, at least for me, uh, thinking about the past is uh, not a good idea for me. I, I don't feel really? it's, it's good. Well, you uh, have to. Be I, I, I always like to forget the past and just uh, move forward. Yeah. And, Actually, m many of my friends like uh, just to go forward. Uh, don't think too much. Don't uh, look back. Just go look uh, straight and just uh, keep moving. That's kind of uh, of uh, thinking we usually uh, have. Uh, yeah, why why looking to the past? Is this uh, have this negative? Well, it happened to me. Um, not because I was looking, maybe it happened to me because I needed to. You know, I, I'm not the sort of person that lives in the past either. For me, I, I don't dwell on the past. I don't get miserable because of something that happened in the past. But in my OBEs, it, I was taken to the past. I didn't, I didn't ask to be taken to a past life. It just happened. I, all I said in OBEs and things like that was, take me where I need to be. So I would then trust my higher self to take me where I need to be in order to improve the person that I am now. Um, so that's how it happened for me. I didn't go delving into, into my past life on purpose or anything like that, but that was where I ended up. 
because obviously I had an issue that was that I was still carrying that maybe I wasn't aware of because you know I've always had pretty um, um balanced so uh, there is a small paradox here if I return to the past to the mm -hmm. to myself in for example another life in the past and try to to make a contact with that person and actually um affected his life um isn't that makes um, uh, some paradox because uh, I'm affa affecting the, the past which I'm now related to so my past after uh, for example uh, editing it will be a different past so uh, it won't be uh, the the same past I had before so yeah. it should be a uh, for example, let's say that this person uh, tried to, uh, in the past, uh, committed suicide and I returned back in the time and asked him to not doing it. So maybe he uh, chose another way in his life. So, uh, for example, his soul uh, went in a different change and, uh, and, he don't, uh, and now he don't need to for example um, correct his karma in his next life so why i'm existing if now if the because you're in, well because i believe um there's different probable realities so um the man that was uh, going to commit suicide he had choices that he could have made he could have ch chosen not to commit suicide or he could have chosen to commit suicide so that the the choice that he made to commit suicide started one probable reality and the other one, another, but probable reality, all sorts of different possibilities. So, and, uh, uh, can my soul have uh, already achieved nirvana, and now uh, and, and other reality is just uh, suffering in the lowest levels of existence? <laughs> How oh is God. that uh, possible? But when you're, yeah, but when you listen, you, you're talking with time in your mind. It's like, could my soul have already achieved? Nirvana, it's like it's still we're talking from a yeah, time it's a perspective. possibility. But if, if time doesn't exist, everything's already happened. Yeah. And everything's happening together. It's like a big ball of everything's there. It's not a line. It's just yeah. like a big ball of everything's like in, happening at the same time. Um, so I, I've already <laughs> achieved Nirvana. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I, expert on is I can only uh, like try to explain things how I have had them shown to me in experiences but obviously I don't know everything it's far too big for my poor yeah. small human brain um. <laughs> does this take the meaning of life meaning of our experience uh, taking this arrogance of being the special one just thinking I'm the the only one I'm the only for example, Muhammad in the universe, who's, and then you, you just realize this all this kind of realities is just hidden, uh, and you can't feel about, it, uh, and can't you do anything about it? Just you are now not special in any way. You've already uh, did everything. You've. Yeah, already... but you. It's like you have to go through what you're doing now, otherwise. You, you won't be, it won't all be complete because what we're doing now is part of the bigger picture if we don't do what we're doing now then the bigger picture wouldn't be a bigger picture because we're all important each one of us to the to the to the full higher self to the full complete um soul if you want to put it like that but the soul is perfect anyway it's just we're all little individual identities having experiences and learning and taking and taking them all these experiences with us i mean it's really difficult to get a human brain around i must admit but yeah yeah it's very <laughs> hard actually it's very complicated to make i think we have but... to play our part i think it's important to remember that we do have to play our part it's not like okay sit back on a sofa right i've already achieved nirvana um time doesn't exist so i don't actually have to do anything which is not you know um we can assume that uh of, okay time traveling with all this paradox is exist so 
um, how could time travel uh, actually how how we could do it if somebody now want, uh, can achieve a projection and want uh, and wants to uh, travel in time um, how how can he, uh, can he achieve this well you mean traveling time from an astral point of view yeah yeah. To a specific, for example, for me, uh, I can't achieve this specific day and specific date and all this kind of uh, thing. Well, Maybe, no, I've never tried. But I had some experience uh, that I feel it's uh, an issue in, um, for example, um, uh, Asian times in Greece, in Egypt. Some, some. Uh, uh, I feel I had this experience, but in a specific time. Uh, in my lifetime or in past life, I can't achieve this uh, I, um, this accuracy. Why? Why it's very hard? Well, maybe just because we're not meant to. Maybe there's nothing in that time at that time that you need to work on. My my out of body experiences and have specifically been to either help other people um, or to help myself grow spiritually so wanting to go back to a specific time on a specific day if it's not useful to me spiritually maybe you just can't do it or so you can't uh, time traveling to any to any specific time unless it um, it's related well, to you in some time. I don't know no I, d I don't know if other people can do that obviously but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to because I don't actually say to myself, okay, I want to meet a past life. If I, I have no intention, I have no goal when I leave my body, I usually say, take me where I need to be. And I leave it to my higher self to know what I need to do. So, but I don't know if anybody else um, who astral projects or leaves their body can actually pinpoint a time and go there. I, um, I haven't heard of anybody being being able to do it so specifically but maybe there are people out there that can um can do yeah. that i don't know i can't say you you can't do it or you can do it it's just that i've never tried uh is the time traveling the same as visiting uh akasha records and know and study about the the, the past life or it's well, it a could, difference and what? it could be even linked it could be linked this time traveling obviously in the akashic records everything is stored there so yeah. It could be that when you do discover a past life, it could be that you are actually entering into the Akashic Records and you don't realize it. You're just becoming a part of the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it could be that you're there already. It's just that you don't realize, um, you know... How, how many past lives do you believe that uh, a normal or average person had in oh. his... In his I existence, have, for example. I have absolutely no idea. I think it varies as well, depending on... It varies. Some people have had thousands, other people maybe hundreds. I don't know. I suppose it depends how I long... I think there is a the maximum to, uh, average because the human existence is, is not that uh, long. Just uh, yeah. about 80,000 years old. It's, uh, it's not that large, so... Maybe a thousand, mm -hmm. thousand and five hundred lives maximum. And we we also can't be sure about how many new new um, incarnations there are. People or souls that haven't actually incarnated on the earth before that come down for the first time. Ah, oh, this is you know. So <laughs> it's not about the human kind. Yeah. So we just don't know. Um, oh, well, there might have been humans on the planet before we were. You see, our history might not be complete. We might not know. We might not oh, be the first oh. humans. You see, you know, there's just things that we don't know. I don't believe that we know all the history of uh, mankind. There could have been, and how do we know mankind, humanity weren't living on another planet before? Um, uh, you know? I didn't think about. <laughs> you see, I watch too much Doctor Who, don't I? <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, fascinating uh, concept and, uh, you know, um, because we are used to our traditional education yeah, about we think we history know. and science, yeah. we, uh, we assume that the scientists have uh, all the answers, we just sit down and listen to them, they are the experts, they, they know everything, so we have a... Uh, 
a fixed uh, vision of uh, mm. everything around us. So, um, uh, how could uh, we make uh, a good uh, benefit of time traveling um, other than fixed uh, uh, past life that will not affect us in any way? <laughs> so, <laughs> how do we know that we're not a past life to somebody else in the future? No, this. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting Sorry. too way complicated. Um, like, you know, we just see our perspective in the now. Yeah. But yeah. Um, now I can't remember which book. Uh, which book was it? I can't remember now. But he was visited um, by two future selves. This guy. Yeah. An and astral was, projection or an? No, no, uh, it wasn't an astral projection. It was. Um, like a, a real life kind of what you know freaky experience where he yeah. met two people used to come to him and they were from his uh fu from his future so he to them was a past life and they were in their last human life because they'd reached a point where they they just didn't die anymore they could just choose to go or come oh so no, yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> later on I'll try and find the book and I'll send you the I'll send you the link. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. some people think this guy's crazy. He may be. I don't know. But it was interesting. Um, interesting reading. But it it could be possible. You know, I'm not saying it's not Everything possible. Everything is possible with the multiple. Everything is possible. So yeah. you know, we could be living. We are. We could be our future selves, past life, and. Um, I, I, I'm now uh, starting to understand why people don't think too much about time. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that's uh, uh, start to take uh, their time. Uh, whatever we think about time, it just uh, is passing. And one day uh, our time will be end. So uh, uh, even if we don't believe in time or whatever our <laughs> thoughts about it, it just one day it will uh, finish, at least for us. And uh, in our uh, human form and our and our conception uh, as a human in this life. But um, I thought, uh, uh, for me, I didn't have uh, a lot of experience in time traveling, but I read uh, uh, the book, uh, Past Life, Future Lives mm. for... Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, Bruce Goldenberg. Uh, actually, um, this person is very expert in uh, time traveling, mm -hmm. and um, he made this voyages to the future, and he describes machines, future machines, uh, future civilizations, and uh, future people, and he claimed that the people from future uh, visited us uh, regularly to change the the past so the uh, the future or their present so their future yeah. happens <laughs> uh, so it's mind-blowing concept do you believe in that do you believe that people from the future actually invented a time machine and can go back in time in the past or in our present which is the past for them and made some changes or i think i'd have to experience it i'd have to i can't just blindly believe something that somebody says but it's i think it's possible he Whether... claimed that you know the the visions of the prophets and the enlightened persons in the world the religious figures are just uh, not angels they are just people from the future trying to affect the the humanity uh, um uh, development or evolving to a specific uh, timeline, something like that. Well, it's possible. And he claimed that the miracles are just uh, advanced technology from the future. Oh, that's possible as well, isn't it? Miracles are only miracles because we don't understand how they happen, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> So, what uh, for you uh, the world with uh, time traveling? Does it uh, have any meaning? Because if you missed uh, anything in the past, 
you can just fix it so do you believe that uh, uh, that if we don't have a time machine that's uh, that's a relief or good for us because what is the meaning of uh, living your time or living your life if you have a time machine that can bring you back to the past so you can do whatever you want so uh, doesn't that uh, take the meaning uh, or the purpose from the life I think it might um well, if a time machine really does exist, I don't know if we could use it to go back. I mean, it's, um, or forwards. Um, I don't know, really. But in the astral, obviously, you can travel in time. Um, when I, when I uh, astral project and when I do time travel, as I said before, it's all to do with my own spiritual development. So I wouldn't be interested in just going back in time anyway it just wouldn't bother me. I, why would I want to go back in time if it wasn't going to do me any good? Um, I, I like my life now, yeah, and I like, I like who I am, and I like um, being here, so I wouldn't really want to waste time um, going back and looking at another life because I've still got this one to do. You know, this you know? is interesting because in the last week we talked about the power of now. Yeah, and that we should be it. Uh, we, t we should be trying to be in the now, and leave the past and leave the future and just be in the now. So, how that comes with the the time traveling, and exploring the past lives and the future lives, or this kind of stuff, which uh, Bruce Goldenberg uh, uh, trying to use. Um, I think it's basic human fascination, isn't it, with um, the past and the future. We are a bit fascinated with, um, you know, these different uh, aspects. I mean, wh where is the truth uh, lies? In the now or in the exploring the future, uh, the past lives? What, uh, at least, what do you believe about it? What, whether it's a good or bad thing, you mean? Uh, the... the the meaning or the truth in the life uh, which you want uh, to be or you should to be uh, uh, because uh, you know uh, I read uh, many of the uh, Eckhart Tolle books mm -hmm. and uh, just turn this light on ah okay it's getting a bit dark here yeah. oh that's better that's better yeah <laughs> And uh, what I was saying that uh, for Eckhart uh, to achieve the uh, enlightened, uh, enlightenment, uh, you have to be in the now. You have to yeah. focus in the now because he explained it many de uh, very deeply. He talked about how all the possibilities are in the now, mm -hmm. that the empty is not uh, the emptiness is not empty. And all the possibilities uh, in the uh, in the emptiness. So uh, it's the same as time traveling. Maybe time traveling uh, or the past and the future and the now are all the same as the now. Uh, or how it's do? All, yeah, it's all now because even our past selves and future selves, as we explained, that they are other incarnations. They're living there now, aren't they? In other time life. Time yeah, life. they're living there now. In the future, our future selves will be living there now and our past selves will be living there now. So maybe, yeah, it is all in the in the now. And this time, it's just a, an illusion so that we can actually make sense of what we're actually doing. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, yeah. You, we wouldn't be able to have a conversation because we have to say, okay, we'll meet on Saturday at 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock. So that's time. Yeah, I can understand it. Okay, well, really, I've only had the experience because um, of this one. Well, I've had experienced a few past lives, but I only had one particular past life that, that um, uh, tended to take up a lot of time. But I think I've spoken about that on an, on another um, chat. Um, yeah. Why? Well, well, I healed this past life, and it was interesting what we were saying before because I healed this past life, so he didn't commit suicide. Mm. So. He actually went on to become a, a teacher. So that's what we were saying before about how the paradox loop. Like, yeah. how come so, I... 
do you believe his soul uh, reincarnate in uh, or coming back to the life with another form that uh, that is different uh, from you so you are not his future now or what do you believe you stop being um, his future after you changed uh, his past well i don't know really because i actually met him when he was older i met him um when he was actually a mature man and he was a teacher whereas in in other um experiences beforehand before i had before i healed him i never got beyond him as a young man because as a young man he committed suicide i experienced him as a child as a teenager and as a young man but past a young man there wasn't any and then i healed him or we healed him together because it wasn't just me we worked together and after that then i experienced him as an older man a teacher a mature man and he was helping other other people so um i can't answer that question because i just don't know yeah. uh, you know it's something that yeah do you do you believe that somebody for example can return to the past and say to his father don't uh, marry my uh, mother <laughs> and so <laughs> <laughs> well, and actually, after you return to your body you you cease to exist <laughs> what you mean that like the film go to the back to the future i yeah. don't you exist i don't know well actually uh, i don't know i don't think we're going to just go off in a puff of smoke just because i think it's more, a lot more complicated than that and um complex uh, yeah. maybe too complex for our human brains to get round. Uh, maybe when you leave your body and your consciousness expands you sort of understand it all a lot better but um you know it's a bit mind-boggling and it's difficult to get your head around it i mean it's even difficult to get your head around eternity and infinity yeah, yeah. you know we talk a lot about time uh the beginning of time the end of time but it's infinity and eternity and it's this trying is to get a, actually this is a good question do you believe that there is an an actual end to the time uh that so, sometime we, we will reach this point that there's no future, there's no time. Well, there must be because it's all eternity and infinity. So, um, infinity is... Infinity. Infinity. <laughs> why, can't, why don't we have enough words in the English language, or well, maybe in language, to... to Actually, the same problem in Arabic. Uh, yeah. It's... Uh, it's really a big and complicated topic and I didn't uh, um, expect that. It's just uh, very big and very complicated. And yeah. uh, if you if you are an English teacher and can't find the word, <laughs> it's, you, it's, can, you, can believe, <laughs> you can imagine my situation. It's, it's, it's just um, a very complicated topic and uh, it, it's no it's like the all or god or the source or whatever you call you know everything that, that what runs everything um it's very difficult to think about the the end the big where does the all begin and where does it end the thing is it doesn't begin and it doesn't end because it's the all it's everything now it's really hard to think with the brain and not think about um, something being separate or there's not it's, it, it, there's um the all is the all but what is beyond the all well nothing's beyond the all because the all is the all and um it's just too, too difficult to get head, your head around um yeah, that's the same uh, trying to imagine for example the fourth or the fifth dimension mm. uh it's the same that uh trying to find a beginning for the the beginning of the world yeah because uh, there, is, there was no beginning before the beginning so it's just a paradox before the and, beginning there must have been something before the beginning which that makes the beginning not the beginning doesn't it so it's yeah. uh it's a question for the uh, philosophy to uh to answer. that's right <laughs> yeah so what also uh topics or issues about time traveling that may uh, the people who experience a subjection may face for example uh, 
can the uh, astral travelers uh, see themselves uh, or visited by themselves in the future mm -hmm. and uh, could we trust them uh, the advice of the people in the future or do you believe that the guides in the astral dimensions actually are yourselves in the future well they could be um, Robert Bruce tended to think that all his guides were actually other versions, uh, different versions of his higher self, of or or people. Or Robert Robert Monroe as well. He, yeah. Uh, in, in so fact, so Robert this Monroe, can explain many things. Yeah, in fact, because Robert, we are thinking uh, in time traveling as yeah. we are the the person who who will try to travel in the time, but maybe we are just uh, the person who. Uh, who will be visited by himself in the future. Yes, that's that's a conclusion that quite a few people have come to, that in the end, we've just, all the, the guides and the people that we see is, you know, helping us out in the astral zones and everything, right? just other versions of ourselves that we've come to help ourselves out. And it's funny, actually, there's an Indian saying that says, um, we are the ones we've been waiting for, you know? So you oh. just... <laughs> <laughs> it's an, yeah, you know, it's, it's quite it's, an interesting. Uh, we're the ones that we've been waiting for, so it's all down to us, really. It's all down to every single one of us, which makes perfect sense. So it should be, shouldn't it? Uh, not all makes sense for me, but <laughs> well, yeah. on a certain level, it'll all make sense in the end. It'll all yeah. make sense in the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, can we say that people, when the people uh, die, they experience no time? Or well, I, I for... think when we die, we can still be caught up a lot in the earth with earth um, attitudes. So I think some people, when you die, it, it, it's almost as if time continues because you can get locked in another consensus reality. You know, where so... in this. Yeah, so uh, you still experience the time, uh, even if you die. Well, I think some people do because they don't, there's no death education. We don't know what actually we should do when we die, do we? Does it, has anyone ever told you what you should do when you die? No, except no. religion. Yeah, so, so we don't actually know what to do. So we, we, it's too easy to get caught up in another consensus reality. I think that's heaven. It, we might end up getting caught in a really nice place. It might seem like it's heavenly, but it's not. It's just a astral, another astral zone with a, a consensus reality, whereas everyone's thinking the same thing. So they built this... Um, in fact, William so, Bullman... Uh, 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 I wanted to ask you if you believe that there is a time uh, in the heaven also. If there's a time... time yeah, in the, uh, in maybe the uh, high astral travel... Well, I think higher. Can, can you we have... experience anything without time, without oh, uh, feeling or, or without change? Because you know, the, the time is really just a way to measure change. Yes, I. Was... So if if nothing is changed, for example, uh, what is uh, uh, what is the meaning of time? If you just, uh, for example, if nothing move, nothing change, just emptiness. Uh, how could time exist, you know? And so, um, uh, in heaven, uh, there's many actions, many things happen there. So, uh, I think uh, the time should be exist there also. I, want, I think the further, the further, the higher you get up in the dimensions, the more you get affected, the less you get affected by this sense of time. Is That's there, why... Maybe there the is a psychological time. Yeah. And... There's absolute time, many times, and uh, <laughs> in the end it'll all be now. In the end, it's all now. So yeah. Uh, so extending the the now to uh, to the future of the or the past, it's just the illusion of time. As, yeah. Uh, I think we can agree on this. I think we'll agree on that. <laughs> That's like a good place to end, actually. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, uh, we can conclude uh, after all this talking and this conversation that uh, the time is exist, but we can't 
comprehend or understand it uh, exactly. And uh, in astral projection, we can actually uh, visit the past and the future and get visited by ourselves in the future, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that the guides may be ourselves in the future. And mm -hmm. we could be guides for the ourselves in the past. So, okay. so it's a time loop. I'm trying to summarize okay. to them all. <laughs> it's very complicated. And yes. there's many things the people who hear us can think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, I, I think our time uh, time's up. Uh, so um, it was uh, actually um, a special uh, uh, conversation. Uh, yes talking about this all com complex, uh, complex, uh, very complicated, very complex. <laughs> yeah, and complex topics. Uh, mm. uh, do you have anything you want to add the, uh, to this topic? Um, I think we've said everything, actually. I don't want to complicate things even further. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's enough. It's complicated enough, actually. Watch Doctor Who. <laughs> I will wait the uh, link. So yeah. I'll, I promise I will uh, watch it, and yeah. I hope I will find some clues or uh, answers to my questions. Well, I don't know if you'd find any answers. You might be entertained. <laughs> yeah, uh, just wasting. Uh, <laughs> Time. If you don't understand time, just wasting it. <laughs> you will feel you good. Could, you could always think of it as um, a listening practice for English. You could always think of it as listening practice. Yeah, I think yeah. it's okay. So um, maybe we will meet in the next uh, week, in yes, the future the... time. Yes. <laughs> and discussing uh, another topic. Access yes. time. Look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> So, see you in the next week. Bye. Okay. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.